Are you guys done? 25%. Crikey. The automation, guys, hurts my head. I didn't think this would be this big of a setup. I thought it'd be easy. Lay it down, you're done. You can tell I've never really messed with this. I know a little bit about it, but not enough, it seems. What the heck's the point of a controller, then? Mm. What are these? I don't even care. I'm never going to use that mod. Uh, so I need a crafting unit, I'm going to assume. Because I want to do auto-crafting. That's the thing. I want to auto-craft circuits. I want to tell it what to do. So to do that, I do know I need, like, a... a blank thingamajig. It doesn't require power. It basically just tells it to inscribe the crafting recipe onto a disk. Unless that's not a thing anymore. I don't know what half this what the heck is a quantum leap chamber. Uh, access points what I want. Uh a cell workbench. I have no idea what that is. Crafting monitor, crafting unit. Where's the blank, the blank things? That's a memory card. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well this is definitely a thing. Blank. Blank pattern. Glowstone dust. Quartz, more quartz. I can make that. A blank pattern, glowstone dust, quartz, and more quartz. Okay, no problem. I have eight blank patterns. I think it was pattern encoder. Is that a... That's just the terminal. Okay. So here you go. Here you go. And now I just need the silicon. I need these things to finish. It looks like they're getting fairly close. Hopefully I won't have to do this for a very long time afterwards. I don't know how I'm going to tell the computer to make that. But it's impressed me before. What's up over here? Is it full? Yeah, it's full. I knew this day would come. Which is why I thought ahead and immediately did this. Just keep gathering wood. I don't care. You know what? To make dirt, I could get a huge farm set up since this is automatically crafting saplings. Uh get something like jungle wood or something, some really big trees, or just to make a bigger tree farm. Get some barrels set up with ender IO pipes underneath, pumping saplings into it and pumping dirt out. That would be a thing I could do. I mean, I don't know how quick it would be. I'm probably better off automating this. Getting some kind of wheat farm set up to automatically send it over here. Also, I bet this thing's full again, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Is it full? Is it full? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't even know. I need to uncomplicate that process just a little bit. Is it done? Oh yeah. Thank you, machines. Thank you, walrus. Uh, no? Well, I misread that then. What do I need to do? Oh, yeah, I need to smash it first. Uh.
Why do I have to use these? They're so hard to make. Let's make two of those. Let's get some silicone going. I just like how quiet it is. I just wish it would make some kind of a pressy noise like and it would just sound like an atomic that sounded like bone grinding actually, but it'd be like <laughs> oh! It would just be like this painful, horrible thing. Oh, <laughs> oh! So there's that. And I think Oh, screw you, buddy. It's probably not even what I needed to make anyway. Why did you turn that way? Okie doke. Fine, be that way, emo. Uh, throw those in there, and basically it makes a pattern for each one. For some reason, why are you facing that way? Stupid thing. Uh, what was it? Applied... I'm going to make a crafting terminal right quick since I have everything I need. Uh, so it was just that, one of these, my other terminal, and my last calculation processor. A much bigger table. Whoops. No, it just allows me to craft if I want to. See? I do know a little bit, guys. God. Uh. <laughs> I can't remember. I know that this mod blew my mind somehow. Like, it did stuff that I just did not think should be possible for a, a computer to do in this game. It's just like, whoa. Like crafting, it automatically knows how to make stuff. Like, if you tell it to make, I don't know, one of these, by hooking one up, it should automatically know what needs to be in place, and I don't know. I just remember it blew my mind before. It literally blows your mind. Uh, unfortunately, I can't remember how to tell it to make products that require, like, processing ahead of time. Uh, I might actually have to do some reading up, guys. Maybe. So, if I told you, like, to put that there and to put silicone, no? Oh, maybe you tell it, like, you put this here, you put that there. And then you tell it, you're like, hey. Uh, by combining this and this, you get this. I thought that's how it used to go. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to automatically set this thing up so that it automatically crafts for me. Uh, I mean, I know I can combine like that, and then I can make that, and it automatically knows, hey, this is how you craft this. Mm, any more thoughts before I get back on the interwebs? Otherwise, this is going to take me forever. Uh... Nope, <laughs> I'm good. Be right back. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I've been looking around and reading. I'm actually going to have to watch some videos. I've decided I'm just going to keep doing this just to get things going. Uh, I could watch videos, and I am going to, because that way I won't bore everyone to death with watching. I'm not going to lie. I don't know enough about this to know what the heck to do anymore. It's a fairly complicated mod. Like, there's a lot happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate at least the silicone and maybe the circuits, I don't know, using Ender IO with like just putting silicone in this chest and automatically shoving it in. Because when I watch a video, I want to watch a big compilation, I guess, on everything. I want to know what everything does. That way I know what this system can do. I've experimented before. I've done crazy stuff like sending power places. I've stored fluids. I've auto-crafted like soul sand. 
it's all doable. Like, in other words, instead of having that uh, pump thing set up over there, pumping water, I could actually wirelessly send it with cables over to it, automatically insert it, automatically take it back. There's all kinds of stuff I can do with it. There are a lot of mobs in here now, now that this is full. Look at this. It's overflowing, guys. They're spazzing the heck out. How many is in here? I'm, I'm kind of scared. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many. I'll save you. Uh, I think my game just crashed. Listen to it chomping away. <laughs> it sound it's like ying 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 ying. <laughs> That's so funny. Like you could just hear it like grinding away on their bones. There are so many of them in there. That is so funny. Yeah, I just, I need just to set this up to where I don't need, I don't need loot bags anymore. Like, it's just a thing. I don't need it anymore. All I need to do is just get this set up to instantly destroy. And that's as simple as putting a trash can with a filter on top. Whatever. I just thought that was kind of funny. Like, it's still grinding. Chomp. Chomp, chomp. Okay, whatever. Like, look at all the mobs on the picture. It's just crazy. They're all, like, spazzing out over there. It's not hurting my FPS. I just... I suddenly looked up and I seen, like, all the th mob icons up there. It's like, oh my god. So, I do know this should be fairly easy to do. Because all I need now is a item, item conduit. And how this works... Is you just put the press in and it goes by sightiness. So, I'm assuming that this is probably going to be top bottom and then right am I right so what I can do is I could just set this up to where it goes like this uh, that would need to go in or out oh wait I think I've already oh never mind it would just go in insert and this would extract without signal as long as it has somewhere to go I think uh, it just needs some power now so let's hook up power real quick now that I have like unlimited power options so it's now running on juice And then I would just need another pipe to extract it. Disable this. And this one would just insert. And this one would extract. Okay. So silicone in. Uh, apparently that's not right. Does this, does it interface at all, I guess? I guess is what we'll find out here real quick. Because that should be on the right side. Okay, what the heck just happened? So it got sucked out, it went around, and this got inserted on the bottom? So what's this side? Is it left? Huh? Confused face. I didn't think it would be left. It could be. Yeah, 
Okay, sure enough, it is left. What the heck? Oh, look, I can actually see the silicone in there. So, this goes here. That goes in there. And it just gets smashed, just like I said. Uh, I don't need that right now, then. So this gets sucked out. It gets turned into silicone. Whoops. <laughs> this is this is actually a bit more complicated than I would have thought. <laughs> Thunk <laughs> right on top. Uh, disable that. And you could just extract. Okay, there we go. Automation. Woo! <laughs> Thunk. Well, at least I'm automating silica now. <laughs> I did not think that would be as complicated. Oh, might as well. That's fun. That's fantastic fun, fun, fun. I guess I could go ahead and automate these other ones too. That way all I have to do is put it in. I mean, I have all this room here. Why not? All it's going to take is a small chest and I could just keep it simple, bro. Let's do that. Let's make three more chests. Uh, let's get some more iron. This thing's probably backwashed again, ain't it? Yeah. Sugar, I'm sorry. As long as items don't start going everywhere. Let me check that first, actually. Alright, it's getting close to going everywhere. I need to do something with this, too. I don't know what to do. What the heck am I going to do? I need a way to fine-tune this. If I were to leave this going for, like, five or six hours, it's eventually going to start piling up like it's going to start backwashing and everything is going to start exploding there'll be like mini explosions everywhere I'll be like oh my god I shouldn't have done it that way and stuff it's the noise I'll make too oh my god uh so you I can just disable because I don't want you going there obviously one two three So I could go ahead and break you guys. Woo! Put you here. Put that there. I'm going to need more of these again. Which luckily I already have some ready to go, I think. Well, I guess I could just throw these in there. Uh, engineering press, no problem. I could throw another chest down here because that'll be the next in the line. Throw this here. I could actually. Put them side by side. That would definitely make it compact. Oh no, you can't because <clears throat> they have to go into the side. Never mind, these might actually be a bit more complicated. Because in order to actually use the press... No, wait, that's just the press, isn't it? Ew, okay. So I would have to have access to the left and the bottom. No, I wouldn't. I would just have to access to the left. Okay. So actually, these could kind of stack up, can't they? Because I could put these on top. All that has to do is any type of item I put in. Yeah, okay, so I wouldn't even need a chest. I'm using my noggin now. There we go. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
Because all that's going to do is if I throw material in, it's going to shove it into one of the holes and instantly make whatever needs to be made. Okay, uh, do I have any more conduit binder? I should. Might even be in my inventory. Oh, it's right here. Uh, pulsating iron. I just need a few. Thank you much. And this should now go. And this could just connect back. And then for the sake of keeping things nice and pretty, I could just break it and then regret breaking it because it's not what I meant for it to do. I actually meant it to do that. Same there. Two separate systems. One specifically just for silicon. Because who cares? Uh, so as it's making those... Actually, no, it would have to be. Uh, my bad. It's just going to have to be like a tumor cluster F of random things. Uh, this could just insert items, and this will extract items. Okay, so no problem. That's extracting. This is disabled. This is disabled. Uh, this is disabled. Because any items go into these are going in on that side. Uh, this is disabled. It already looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Any item that gets sucked in here is just being inserted. 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 So that's got the inscriber press. This has got the logic press. This has got the calculator press. Everything gets sucked back in here. Everything gets extracted with that signal. Once it gets made, it gets extracted. Once it gets made, it gets extracted. Once it gets made, it gets extracted. So now what should happen is if I put one, two, three, four. Let's, let's get some material. Let's get some everything. Let's get a little bit of gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get a little Certus Quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get some diamonds. One, two, just for the lulls of it. Now, by throwing them in this chest, it should automatically just do it all. Boom. Gold goes in. Oh, they don't have power. Uh, inscriber. Oh, I have two inscribers. How the heck did I do that? Where'd the other one go? Inscriber calculation. Oh, okay. That's inscriber and then logic. Never mind. It's not quite working. I'm going to have to put a filter on it. Dang, I hope it would have been smarter than that. Uh, let's power them up. Maybe it can't tell it can't tell what's in it. Okay. It just sees it as a valid destination for the item. That makes sense. So no fault in Dryo. I understand where you're coming from. That's what filters are for. Well these in here. Now it should just work. Right? <laughs> are you proving me wrong? Oh boy, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> when did this become Minecraft? That's all I want to know. Minecraft used to be a simple game. 